Yeah. What's up guys, it's Teach Mom Slayer here, coming to you live with another video, and I hope you guys enjoyed the new intro, because it was kind of fire, in my opinion, you know, nobody has to agree, but I thought it was kind of fucking awesome. Yeah, but I made it, so, you know, well, the song I didn't make, that's Expanded by L. Gaze, which I'll throw that in the uh, description, I can't modernize the video because I used the song, but this is whole, like, thing I was trying to figure out of, like, something I could use for an opening video, and I had to go into my creator studio and, like, type it in, and, like, I figured, finally I found it, and it's like, you can use this, but you can't modernize it, and I'm really not worried about modernizing right now, so I'm using it. YouTube. But anyway, so Skyrim. So recently Bethesda announced that they're going to be releasing, well, they're working on like six projects and Skyrim for the Nintendo Switch and some other game. I don't quite remember the name of it. Um, those like two confirms, nothing big. But, you know, there's five other games sitting there and like, of course, you can't help but wonder, is Skyrim going to be on there? And... It could be another Fallout game, but, you know, mainly it's because we're already, like, kind of past the Fallout, and it's really time for Elder Scrolls to make its comeback to really the whole gaming community, and I was just kind of just talking about it. Like, I really don't play much Skyrim. It's not because it's a bad game. Like, I don't think it's a bad game at all. It's just I never got into it. So when Skyrim came out, like, I went and traded in a bunch of games, and one of the games I got was Darkness 2. And, I, and then they were like, oh, like, hey, like, you can get this game. This game just came out, and, like, I was like... Oh, all right, well, I'll take it, and like I never got into it, and I don't know why because like sitting here playing it right now is fun. Like of course, like I like played it enough to like get a feel of it, and like I wasn't that good at RPGs at the time, so it was kind of like a down slick. But like you know, what I mean, as you can see here, like kind of enjoying it, and I'm playing this on my PC right now. It's set at ultra high, so if you guys like notice that it's a special edition, I really don't know it's different. I know I own the legendary edition on here. And you know, like, at first, like, my excuse for, like, not liking Skyrim for a while was just, like, the sword bat. Like, I was, I was just, like, running around with guns, but, like, playing The Witcher 3 and kind of getting into that and just getting into that whole comb combat style has really kind of opened my mind to, like, the whole, like, sword play in general. But, you know, I'm playing this game, and, like, what I can't help to notice, like, it looks really good. And, like, just seeing how that's going to be implemented in the new... Elder Scrolls 6 coming out, I definitely can't wait to, like, kind of look into that and just, I don't know, I feel like, I'm really hoping they're done with Elder Scrolls Online in general, but, you know, what I really expect from Elder Scrolls 6 is just a whole new world in general, you know what I mean, like, take us out of school, like, no, just, like, open up all the world and kind of, like, give us this massive fucking game, you know what I mean, because there's already, like, people, like, are modding and shit and are able to do that, but, like, given the fact, like, Grand Theft Auto 5, right, when they go to Red Dead Redemption, Red Dead Redemption, Grand Theft Auto V is five times larger than Red Dead Redemption was, and Red Dead Redemption at the time was fucking huge. And just kind of seeing that jump, I feel like it might be possible that we'll have a very, very open game. You know what I mean? Just, just Fallout 4, just how big that was. I don't know if we're going to really get all the areas, but still, I think we might... I make some progress and another awesome thing I would really like is my character to talk but like see now the thing about Fallout 4 with the whole character dialogue was the fact that they implemented it to a certain way but you know the character only had like really like four default like you could either be a jerk you could be serious you could not say anything at all. I don't, I don't really remember what they were, but there was really just four options of what you could do in a situation, like how you could talk to somebody. And I don't, I don't know. I thought it was like it was cool. I mean, I like then again, like baby steps, like they added dialogue. We should just be happy with that in general. But you know what I mean? It makes a lot less more of an impact. I'm like, well, saying this might do this. You know what I mean? It's like here's just like four things could happen, and like sometimes it really doesn't even matter, which is kind of a bummer. But you know, given the time that they they're probably going to take to work on Skyrim. I doubt Bethesda's going to look at their gaming history and be like, well, you know what, like, we're just not going to improve on that. You know what I mean? That's just not what Bethesda does. But anyway, I'm going to kind of sway a little bit off the topic from Skyrim here. And another thing I want to talk about was the evil event. So apparently, well, I feel like that'd be like a cool thing just like for Bethesda to bring back another horror game. 
because I really do enjoy that, like, I just enjoyed Evil Within in general. Like, I was looking forward to it when it came out. I remember, like, staying up the night before to, like, 12 a.m. and, like, looking for the review and, like, right when it dropped, like, seeing that it got an 8.4, I was like, oh, thank God, this game's going to be awesome. I can't wait. And, you know, to be honest, it was a really sick game. I did really enjoy it, and I had a blast with it. And I would really like to see an Evil Within 2. And... I don't know, as far as the other three projects, I couldn't really get, just not, maybe Dishonored, you never, you never really know what's to come with that, but another thing I really do enjoy about Skyrim is, you'll see in a minute here, I'll pick up a bow and arrow, and it was just that, like, adaptation that I, like, really do enjoy that, like, many games can't really, like, form into, like, like I guess, like, it's not that many RPGs out in general, but well, that like allow that certain type of like systematic gameplay where I can go and pick up this weapon and like get really good with this, and I can say fuck that, I'm gonna play with this weapon and then get really good with that. That is another thing that's really unique in the Skyrim series that I do enjoy, and I'm safe safely say they're probably gonna implement that in six, and it's gonna be fucking awesome. Another thing I want to see in six is some townhomes. Like they added a uh, DLC pack to this, and it was like you could have your house. And it's like it's an annoying process, but I feel like it should have been a start from the beginning. It, sh it will be a start from the beginning at 6, and, like, they'll kind of manage that creator system that they've put in Fallout 4 and Skyrim 6, which will be kind of Skyrim 6, fucking with me, fucking Jagaloon, uh, Elder Scrolls 6. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that'd be fucking dope. Um, what else? Some cool shit. New weapons, new, like, elvish weapons, you know what I mean? We're always going to see some, like, new shit. You know, excuse me if I, I like, don't sound like I know what I'm talking about. I'm just like going based off what I'm playing in Skyrim in general and like what I'd like to see transfer over. Another big thing is like dungeons, like just a lot more of those like bosses at the end, like really difficult. I don't know, man. Like just like fun bosses I can fight. Like you know what I mean? Like I want to see like a raid thing, but like it's like really challenging enemies, not just like a giant dragon I fight on top of a mountain. Like I want to like go through a dungeon and have this one. Well, I think, well, fuck me, right? I think they already have that. Sorry, guys, I haven't played this game enough. I'm really just kind of talking right now, rambling on, but I don't know. This game's cool. I've been probably working on Elder Scrolls 6 right now, so hopefully we expect to see that. I really wouldn't mind if you commented I'm talking like a fucking Jagaloon. It's all good, but, um, yeah. Horizon Zero Dawn comes out Monday night, 9 p.m., definitely gonna be picking that shit up it's probably gonna be fire as fuck and i'll probably do a gameplay video on it see like my main problem here is, is that i don't have a elgato or anything so like i have fraps and shit which the little icons at the, at the beginning of the video you saw that and i have this like other recorder on my, my laptop's filled with recorders and shit like i can record gameplay for days on this motherfucker but as far as my playstation 4 goes i can get like 15 minutes of gameplay go through the share station record my boys talk for a little while and then push that out into a video and just immediately upload it to YouTube. Which is kind of a bummer because I can't put like an intro to it and like it's weird. But anyway, yeah man, I'm looking forward to Horizon Zero Dawn. A lot of what I'm saying is like the stories it starts to get it starts to really just slow down and then it picks up in the aspect that it is a very strong game in combat. Which I'm looking forward to, because I always love combat, you know what I mean? I do love fucking shit up, and that is what I plan to do in that game. And one thing, I just want to go ahead and give a shout out to my boy, uh, RJ Burger 16 Check out his channel, I'll put in the link in the description below, and just fucking check that shit out. He's a cool dude, kind of hit me up out of nowhere, and then fucking playing on PlayStation and whatnot. But anyway, I'm going to quit talking. If you want to keep watching the gameplay, that'd be dope. Hit the like, subscribe, and comment button. And I'll probably upload another video so we'll call it a gameplay or something. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. Just kind of threw this together earlier, and I decided to go over it and edit it. But let me know what you guys want to see in Elder Scrolls 6. Because you guys probably know a lot more about it than I do. And that... Peace.
Looks like he's gone for good this time. But I don't think we should stick or closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. <laughs>